For more about the very worrisome decline in the bee population, we are joined once again tonight by Michael Novacek. He is the Provost of Science at the American Museum of Natural History. Welcome back. Nice to be here, Martin. We've heard about this problem uh, actually for a number of years now, the shrinking bee population around the world. Do we know how much the bee population has actually declined? Well, we have a good sense of, uh, in Europe, for example, these striking statistics in America that we're getting heavy colony loss. I think the estimate in the film was uh, 30% in, in Europe, so this is very serious stuff. But why? Have we figured out exactly what's causing it's the problem? It's a matter of cause. As the film says, the, some of the suspects are infectious disease or the lack of, of plants, diversity of plants that provide food for bees. But it's really, there's more of a mystery to this. What we're talking about is the collapse of colonies that are just due to the loss of adult, the disappearance of adult bees, worker bees. And why? Well, a number of suspects. Infectious disease, maybe a virus. Maybe the bees don't have the immune system that allows them to resist that. There's even some thought that the genetic, uh, the genome is so narrow in these bee populations now because they interbreed that they are, they're not adaptive, they're not flexible for these, these invasions of infectious disease. There was that quote in the story that said, you know, if uh, the bees had died off, this is Albert Einstein, humans would follow within four years. Is that serious? Is that really a Well, he, a fact? it's a poetic way of putting a very serious problem because think of it this way, you know, bees are the champions of the insect pollinators. Pollination is what drives the modern ecosystem. It, it's really what the basis is for the crops and the food that we depend on. And if you, you know, bees alone, honeybees alone account for about uh, $16 billion a year in America in terms of crop production. So you could have, cat if this were permanent, if these things were sustained and permanent, the, the, you could have very catastrophic uh, ecosystem, agricultural and economic uh, results. Are there things we should be doing? Humans, I mean, to try to somehow help the population. The film talks about urban, the development of urban beekeeping, and that's a nice trend because it takes advantage of all the, ironically, all the plant diversity that you have in cities. It also teaches people a little bit more about the importance of bees, but this isn't going to do the trick. I mean, what we have to do is really scientifically attack the problem in these agricultural systems outside of cities. Uh, studies in genomics, studies of these diseases, studies of the adaptability of bees to these changes are really key here. Michael Novacek, as we like to say, you are the bee's knees. Thanks very much <laughs> Thanks. for joining us. Nice to be here again.